Hey everybody, welcome back to another State of the Market ending February 2024. So um, things haven't changed too much since January. However, uh, these State of the Markets are very important to us and so we wanna make sure we get uh, the information out to all of our viewers and anybody that's in the market of thinking about selling or buying a piece of property. So we're gonna jump right into it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and share my screen real quick and get us right into the stats. Okay. All righty. So uh, the first uh, sector that we're going to go over, as always, is the median sales price, which is 649000 That's for the entire Cape uh, from P-Town to Plymouth. 649 in January, it was 645. So the uh, median sales price went up $5,000 from January to February. Not a big bump, but it did go up. And I expect March and April and May and all the following months uh, for these prices to continue to go up uh, just because it's the time of the year, uh, spring market, right? So uh, the next sector we want to talk about is homes for sale. That includes residential <coughs> homes, uh, uh, raw land, and condominiums. Uh, for February, it was 505. And for January, it was 537. So uh, we took a little dip there on properties uh, on the market uh, by 32 properties. So we went down 32 properties from January to February to 505. Uh, the next uh, sector we're gonna talk about is the days on market. So February ended up being around 26. January was about 26, so that's a push, right? So what days on market tells us as agents is how quickly properties are going under contract. And uh, based on these numbers, uh, it was the same amount of time in January as it was in February at 26 days on market. Scott, if I put my house on the market, is it going to sell in 26 days? It could sell over the weekend. Uh, I've seen lots and lots of properties, especially 800,000 and under selling over the weekend uh, at an open house. Uh, and then some of the other ones do take a little bit longer, but the average is 26, which is excellent. Um, I'm going to show you one quick stat because uh, nobody wants their house on the, on the market any longer than it has to be, right? I'm going to show you a quick stat on what the norm was before COVID. So if I go back three years... And I go back to, uh, say, around March 2020, 75 days on market was what uh, the market was used to doing, 75 days on the market. Today, we are at 26 days on market. All right. So uh, months of supply, we're going to talk about that. So that tells us how much inventory we have uh, before uh, the shelves are empty, right? So if no other properties came on the market, uh, we would run out of inventory in 1.8 months, okay? Uh, January, that was 1.9 months. So we, uh, you know, we, we were down a little bit of in, in inventory, right, uh, from our active property. So our uh, months of supply is gonna reflect that, which it did at 1.8 months of inventory. Um, so uh, the next sector we want to talk about is uh, percentage of um, list to sale price ratio. Uh, and that is 98.3. In January, it was 98.2. It went up a tenth of a point, which really isn't that much. We'll call that a push. So this uh, sales to list price ratio for any new view is uh, what that means is if you put your house on the market for a million, uh, you'll get 980,000 for it according to um, this particular stat of February. Uh, previous years and months, it was higher, right? 
Some of these months here were 102, 103%, you know, a year ago back in June. And the same thing in June of 21, uh, 103%. And then, you know, there's been other months where it's been below ask, uh, you get, you know, below asking price. So you would put your house on the market for a million dollars today, you'd get 980,000 for it. Uh, in January, it was 980,000 as well. Now, some of these houses are still going over asking. I'm seeing plenty of properties going over asking. Some of them are going a little bit under. At the end of the day, the average is 98.3% of list to sale price ratio. If, right, the big if that we always talk about, your three Ps, right? You, you got to price it accordingly for the market, which is where your professional real estate agent comes in, knowing the market, right? If you present it, Properly, meaning it looks its best uh, on the inside as well as the outside. And if your agent does an excellent job um, promoting your property, meaning exposing it to the world, if you have your three P's, they will all lined up, you will get an offer. If one of those P's is off, doesn't matter which one, price presentation or pro promotion, you most likely will not get an offer. I've seen properties that have had all three uh, wrong and hence the property would expire. So I uh, get your three P's in line, price presentation, promotion, you'll have a sale. Um, the last thing we want to talk about is your price per square foot. So price per square foot is averaging around $424. January, it was $414 per square foot. So that is an increase of $10 per square foot. Uh, if you're thinking about building, um, a piece of property, um, keep that in mind, around 400. You can do it for less depending on, you know, the quality and the finishes of your, uh, that you choose, right? So the next thing we want to talk about is interest rates. I'm just going to unshare my screen here. I'm coming to you guys uh, live today down at Naples, Florida. Um, down here visiting my mother. And so, um, again, these are so important that I get these done. I'm sitting at her desk and uh, giving a nice uh, state of the market for you guys. Uh, so the interest rates, a 30-year fixed is 7.29. For anybody that's out there that's look, wanting to look, do a uh, conventional loan, 7.29, 30-year fixed. 15-year, 30-year fixed, 6.61. Uh, if you're looking for a jumbo, 30-year fixed jumbo, 7.18. Jumbo is like, you got to finance around 750 or above on that. Uh, 7.18 on 30-year fixed jumbo. 6.74 on a 15-year fixed jumbo. Uh, if you're looking to do an FHA loan, Federal Housing Administration, 3.5% uh, down uh, is minimum requirement on that. 30-year FHA, 7.06. Uh, and then a 30-year VA Veterans Administration loan. Uh, you can do those uh, loans with as little as zero money down, which make them attractive. Uh, that's at 6.79. So uh, the rates are good. Uh, I suspect them to get even better. I don't think there's going to be any change in the rates in March, according to uh, the feds. If anybody saw that uh, segment on 60 Minutes a couple of weeks ago, uh, they did a big interview with uh, uh you know, the chairman, I can't remember his name. Um, I think it was, anyway, I can't remember his name, but he, he didn't think that they were going to do anything for March. Uh, so let's look forward to maybe uh, some type of uh, interest rate reduction perhaps in April. But hey, you know, things change, right? And that's the thing about real estate. Um, you know, things are always changing. So uh, they could drop the rates, you never know. Um, but I don't see anything happening for March. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. Uh, it means the world to us, uh, having everybody watch in, all your texts, emails, and letters, and phone calls. If you have any questions, uh, you know, give me a buzz. 508-566-0051 is my direct cell phone. If I don't answer, I will definitely call you back. And my email is uh, sjzano at gmail.com. Thank you so much. Have a great day, and I'll talk to you soon.